good morning, all good. Hello, everyone. I sit down the profound Luxembourgish with Anne. And here is your new lesson on how as the night lexio. So today you will learn how to say before in Luxembourgish. Because I noticed that during our conversation lessons, um, my students often try to say sentences such as before I go to work, I do this and this. But then they are hesitating uh, to say the sentence. So, for example, here's my question to you. How would you say before I go to work? I have breakfast. So concentrate on the before I go to work. I give you some time to think about the correct translation and let's dive into the lesson. Bas du prêt? Are you ready? Dann los! Before I go to work, I have breakfast. Now, many of my students tend to say, Vier Runde gehen ich auch da bist, ich trinke Kaffee. Now, is this correct? Did you as well uh, translate the sentence by Vier Runde gehen ich auch da bist? Hmm. Well, this is not correct. So, if you want to say before, I plus an action use the word aya. Now listen and repeat for the correct pronunciation. Aya. Aya. Okay? So if you want to say um, before I go to work, you have to say aya ösch obdabest gin drinken ösch kaffee. Let's repeat. Aya ösch obdabest gin drinken ösch kaffee. Now I hear you asking. But and why do we use eya and not firun? Because firun means as well before. Well, in English you have one word before, but in Luxembourgish we have three words for before. You have eya, firun, but as well firdrun. And to learn um, when to use which word. This has to do with a uh, grammar, so you have to know a little bit about the grammar. And I will illustrate this with three examples. Let's take these three examples in English. Sentence number one. I wash my hands before I eat dinner. Sentence two. I wash my hands before dinner. Sentence three. I eat dinner. I will wash my hands before. So here in English you have three times the word before. Now, in sentence one, before is followed by a sentence. I eat dinner. Okay? In sentence two, before is followed by a noun, dinner. Dinner, it's a noun, it's a thing. Okay? And in sentence three, before is followed by nothing. So it is a standalone word. Okay? So here is where the grammar comes in. So in sentence one, before is followed by a whole sentence which makes sense on its own. I eat dinner. In Luxembourgish, ich essen zu Ofen. Okay? So here we are talking about a subordinating conjunction, okay? And then you have to use the eia, okay? So, um, ösch wasche meng han, eia ösch zu ovent iessen. So, whenever you want to say before I plus an action, use eia ösch plus your action. Eia ösch zu ovent iessen. Let's repeat. So, ösch wasche meng han, eia ösch zu ovent Yes. Now um, note that some native speakers will not use the word "aya," but they will use the word "ear." So instead of saying "aya," they will say "ear." So 
ähm, ich wäsche meine Hände ihr euch zu oben essen. Okay, just to be aware that some people say eher and other people say ihr. So they mean the same. There's no difference. Yes? Okay. So in example two, we had um, before followed by a noun. So before dinner. Dinner is the noun. So whenever before is followed by a noun, you have to use in Luxembourgish the word vierun. And vierun is a preposition. Okay? So if you want to say I wash my hands before dinner, you have to say ich wasche mein Hand vierun. Oversiessen. Now be careful. Firun is a preposition which um, requires either the dative or the accusative case. Now, if you want to learn more about a prepositions or the accusative or the dative case, I have already some lessons on my blog which you can uh, check out later. Okay, so but if you want to say in Luxembourgish before dinner or before lunch, you will have to say Firum Oversiersen or Firum Mittagessen. Let's have another example with before followed by a noun. For example, before work. How would you say before work in Luxembourgish? Well, this is Firunda Abest. Firunda Abest lesen nicht nur online. Let's repeat. Firunda Abest lesen nicht nur online. So, now we have covered Eia, which is followed by a whole sentence, or it combines two sentences. Uh, we have had Firun, which is a preposition, so it is followed by a noun. And the last one is a little bit more tricky to explain. So vier drun. So whenever before stands alone or it is combined with a verb or it is translated in English by before that, then use vier drun. And often vier drun comes at the end of the sentence. At the beginning of the sentence. Let's take our, our sentence three of our example. I have said, I eat dinner, I wash my hands before. So before that, before that action. So in Luxembourgish this will be, ich essen zu oven, ich wasche mein Hand vier drun. Okay, so here vier drun comes as well at the end of the sentence. But uh, like in English you can say, before I will wash my hands, then you will say in Luxembourgish, Vier drun waschen ich mein Hand. So remember that vier drun is an adverb and whenever you start your sentence with an adverb, you have to um, put your verb second element in the sentence followed by the subject. So you have to say vier drun waschen ich mein Hand. Let's repeat. Ich essen zu Abend. Vier drun waschen ich mein Hand. Or you can say, ich wasche mein Hand vier drun. So as you can see, you can put the vier drun at the beginning or at the end of your sentence. Take another example where in English you use in three sentences, which mean the same, the word before, whereas in Luxembourgish you will use eher vier drun, vier drun. So for example, you can say, eher ich ob da bist gin, trinken ich Kaffee. Why do I use here eia? Well, because it is followed by ösch, by the subject. Eia ösch, ob da bist gin, trinken ich Kaffee. But you can as well say, vierun da abest, trinken ich Kaffee. Why do I use vierun? Well, because it is followed by abest, and abest is a noun. So, vierun da abest, trinken ich Kaffee. But you can as well say, Ich gin ob da bist, vier drun, trinken ich Kaffee. Or you can say, um, ich gin ob da bist, ich trinken Kaffee, vier drun. Okay, great. Now it's time to practice. Yes? Okay, so I will give you three sentences in English and you will have to translate them into 
Luxembourgish. But if you really want to um, understand um, the difference and the use of these three words, I highly recommend that you head over after this lesson uh, to my blog where you can download the whole transcript of this lesson and practice with much more examples. Okay, and you can get my personal feedback as well. Okay, so, bas du prêt? Are you ready? Dann los! Satz end. So, how would you translate into Luxembourgish? Before Maria meditates, she does yoga. Satz 2. I want to drink a coffee before I start working. Um, Satz 3. I will call you, but before that, I want to watch my favorite series. Now put your answers in the comment below so to get my feedback about your answers. I hope that this lesson was helpful and that it um, helped you to better understand the translation of before into Luxembourgish and that it will help you to, uh, to make sentences, to dare to say sentences in Luxembourgish with the verb, a word before. Merci fürs Zuschauen. Thank you for watching.